More on this, I'm joined by Mark Edel, Professor of Soviet History at the University of Melbourne. Thanks very much for your time. It's been a fascinating move with a lot of analysis. Let's just talk through this. So, uh, Putin is pulling power away from the presidency. That's his role at the moment. What, how does this lock in power possibly for Vladimir Putin or take it away from others? Well, how that locks in power for Putin remains to be seen. I mean, the, what most people... Uh, there's two scenarios, I think. There's, there's, one is that he simply will retire. That would not be mm. uh, completely within his personality, I think. Um, the other is that he moves sideways into a, a revamped position as chairman of the uh, state council, which at the moment uh, is, a, is an advisory council which has no real power, uh, but under the proposals, which are not really worked out yet, um, is meant to be stronger. So he would have some kind of elder statesman role, uh, but that is complete speculation at this point, right? And. Um, uh, I think Russia analysts often, you, you know, you will read a lot of commentary with very uh, clear, apparently clear knowledge what's going on in Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin's head uh, and nobody yeah. has that knowledge um, and he always um, does something else. I mean, nobody expected this exactly to happen. No, exactly. Well, can we deduce this, though? If he is making the president's role a lot less powerful, that he's not planning on going down the path of President Xi Jinping, he's not planning on extending his term, because why would he do that in a less powerful role? So whatever he does, it won't be continuing as Russian president. Yes, I think that is fairly clear. That would be a very strange move. Uh, to remove his own powers and continue on in that position. So that was what a lot of people were worried about, that he would just make himself somehow ruler for life. Uh, he has actually recently talked about this when uh, he was uh, sort of nudged by supporters saying, you know, why don't you stay on? Uh, and he basically said, you know, there is, there is historical precedent in, in Soviet history at the beginning of the 80s where we had all of these men in their 70s uh, uh, who were yeah. not in very good shape. They were actually in much worse shape than Putin is uh, today. Uh, but he sees that kind of, um, that kind of precedent of uh, an aging president. And he's complained repeatedly about, you know, ab about the workload. I mean, the, the, the kind of system he built, which is really focused very much on him, he has to make a lot of decisions uh, which, you know, probably somebody else could do for him. So uh, for, for him to continue in that role, um, I think that that is probably off the table. Um, the question is, will he retire um, and hand over power to somebody else or to actually now a group of people? Because if these reforms go through, which I think they're more or less guaranteed to, uh, that will lead to a rebalancing of the um, of the uh, um, political system in, in Russia, which has become more and more focused on the president ever since 1991. That began uh, under Yeltsin yeah. and then was uh, continued under Putin. Uh, but that would really redistribute power. It wouldn't make it a, an, a lame duck kind of uh, position, but one which would have to deal much more with other, it would create other um, competing uh, powers in particular, yeah. the, uh, the, the par parliament would be uh, much more powerful than it is now. So, uh, I mean, I, I want to keep my cynics hat on when it comes to the motives of Vladimir Putin, but the way you describe it, it could be Russia going down the path of, dare I say it, less about the strong man, less about a, a borderline dictator, uh, you know, the media silenced, one outcome only allowed in elections, and almost a push mm. towards more de democracy. Is that going too far? It is possible. I mean, you know, the future is, is open. We, we will see. But it's definitely a possible uh, scenario that, uh, you know, this becomes a much more competitive system than it is at the moment. Uh, it will definitely make uh, running for parliament more interesting uh, for ambitious people. It will also, the, the, the various uh, limitations he's trying to put in place for, um, for future presidents, but also uh, for uh, high-level judges and so on. Um, they can't have residency in another country. They have to have been within Russia for 25 years. They would need to uh, n not have a foreign passport in addition to a Russian. That would actually not rule out, I mean, a lot of 
people have focused on Navalny, the major uh, um, uh, opposition figure, but it would also rule out a lot of the, the top elite who, you know, most of them have lived abroad for some time, have another residency somewhere else for tax purposes, uh, have passports um, of other countries. So it would actually uh, refocus who could uh, run for for president very, very strongly. And it would definitely be, and you know, you, can, you don't need to take your cynics hat off, I think, because this will also be safer for uh, Putin to retire, to hand over to right. somebody else the powers he has would be a very dangerous move. And, um, you know, again, you know, Russian history has these, these moments of, you know, yeah. some sort of strong man with, with Lenin in power and then uh, a quite different type coming in with Stalin who uses that power uh, to, to much more extreme ends. So, so that, these are also so things which are sorry probably to jump on, in. on, yeah. Yeah, just to jump in, so do, do you think there's an element, I mean, Putin's popularity has uh, plummeted recently, uh, even in a, a state in which there's not really another mm. answer for who you want as president, uh, the approval mm. rating has, has become lower and lower. Perhaps this is him sniffing the political wind and that's part of what he's doing here, yeah. at least safeguarding the rest of his life? Yeah, I mean, the, surely his job became less appealing with uh, a, a quite a severely slowing economy, uh, with the international isolation of Russia, uh, with trouble about pension system and pension reform. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it, it probably made, if there ever was uh, a kind of uh, thought about continuing on after 2024, which would have meant a, a, a constitutional coup of some kind, um, uh, the current situation surely has made that less attractive uh, for him.